What's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're getting out there. I just got out of work, but my tires also just got delivered. I just got the little notification on my phone. Carmela shot me a text and told me that they're here. So super excited. I'm, I'm heading home right now. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So without further ado, let's get into it. And here's the new tires. 33 by 12 and a half KM3s, BF Goodrich. So pumped to finally run this tire. I see a lot of guys run, running these everywhere from the, the desert to the mud, overlanding rigs, race trucks, you name it, and it probably has a set of KM3s on it. These KM3s, along with the new method wheels I have, it's gonna be such a sick combo, and it's really gonna look great on this truck. But before we slap these tires on, it's gonna be time to replace the suspension. Got three boxes full of suspension bits, control arms, tie rod ends, everything that I need to replace my stuff, it's in there. So it's definitely time to get that underway. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but this truck squeaks like crazy. And this is actually gonna be one of the last times I do it, I guess. Here, let me show you real quick. <laughs> it's so bad like anytime I turn anytime I hit a little uneven spot in the black top it just squeaks like crazy any motion the tie rod control arms anything it squeaks up a storm so it's gonna be really really weird having it finally drive quietly for once <laughs> but all right let's get into it all right guys here's the new parts they look really, really good. I heard a lot of good reviews about this company. This is Mevotech. This is their Supreme line. They have a cheaper line, and then they have another line where it's just the ball joints, and that seems to be like their heaviest duty setup. Already seen some improvements, like just simply having lockers on there. This is a lo nylon lock nut. All the fittings are serviceable. And of course, blue means performance, so you gotta have it. Even here, fact that they kerned the bottom part of the control arm uh i guess mount this is where your alignment's held so the fact that they kerned this really is nice to help out locking it down just a little bit more this is actually backwards it looks like this bolt would be sent in through the other side so that kern is what's making contact with the frame of the truck but that's something that i can just flip over here too on the uh they also reinforced it over here the original ones only have one support whereas they welded on two plates. So just another way they're making these ball joints a little bit stronger. They say too that the needle bearings on these are thicker, that they've allowed the joint to be wider. Only thing that I think might be a slight issue is on this ball joint where it's serviced, it's straight up. If you look on my other one, it's actually on an angle. So you're able to service it and grease the fitting when you have the axle right here. This one being straight up, it might be getting into the way. So we'll have to assess that as we go. It looks like it is thinner overall though too, so it might be fine. We all figure it out. But all right, that's enough chatting. Let's get this put in there. All right guys, I got the, both the upper and lower control arm off. I got the tie rod end off. Had a little problem with disconnecting the torsion bar from the lower control arm. Those of you who don't know, it's a torsion bar that basically extends from here all the way to the midsection of the truck. It wouldn't disconnect from the control arm, so I ended up just pulling it straight out of the front. So now, I got that sitting over here. Just put a little bit of penetrating oil on there and it should see, it should uh, break it up just a little bit. But dirty parts over, time to get the new stuff on. Hey, so it's kind of late, it's definitely dark. I didn't film much of the install process because quite frankly, it, it, it sucked. The torsion bar was frozen. I'm gonna have to soak that in some penetrating oil and I'll come back, but most of the suspension was replaced and it's awesome. But I just put it down on the ground for the first time. And look at this, ready? It doesn't squeak. This is the first time in years that I've had no squeaking in my suspension. Uh, <laughs> you don't know how great that is. It's almost, it's almost strange. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish tightening down the bushes now that it's at the nice right height, and then we can go from there. Oh, 
What's going on everybody? I just got out of work and we're actually going to be running straight to our appointment. I got an appointment to go get the tires mounted. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm getting my wheels and tires mounted. I'm also getting alignment done because I want to replace a bunch of stuff on the suspension and I think I did pretty good, but it's, it, it's pulling to the left so it can't be that great. All right, and now we're back at the garage. <laughs> it's definitely getting messy in here. The suspension job took so many different kinds of tools. I really had to get creative a little bit in some of those spots. So everything I have is out of this right now. Like all these cabinets are empty. So I'm gonna have to take some time and clean this place up. But anyway, right now what we gotta do is we have to get all of this into there. Normally with this lid, if I ever have to fit something big in an emergency, I just take this back panel off right here. It's three different pieces. So if you take this one off, you have about 75% of the bed, which has always been sufficient. So I think I'm gonna try just taking that off first because it's just unbolting it from the hinges over here. And then it should be fine. I took some rough measurements and it looks like we should be able to fit all four tires stacked up like that. And then possibly the wheels up here in the front. But so our appointment is at four o'clock and it's 3.15 right now. So let's get to it. I've already loaded all these tires. <laughs> and she forgot to report. And my appointment is 30 minutes away. And it's in 20 minutes. <laughs> so this is what we do. This is why you have to like and subscribe. You see how hard I'm trying? <laughs> All right, guys, we got the lid inside. We got the wheels and tires all loaded up. Super excited to get these KM3s on there. It's gonna look so awesome. I don't think I'm gonna have them put the wheels on. I think I'm gonna do it myself, but it's it's definitely gonna be such a sick setup. I'm so excited. But it is 3.45 right now. I'm like 25, 30 minutes away. So I have to, I, I gotta run. All right, everybody, and we are off. We got the Method race wheels, and we got the KM3s sitting in the back looking awesome. Man, I didn't realize we're getting our roof done right now, and <laughs> that just goes to show you how much dirt and debris is just all over this truck. It, it's definitely time for a wash. I'm excited to get that done, but we're running late, so I'll get back to you guys once we get there. All right, so we got the wheels and tires unloaded. My buddy over there is gonna be taking care of me. I am so excited. This is going to be so sick. What do you guys think? You guys like them?
All right. Got them all loaded up. It's looking sick. Thank you, man. <laughs> that looks so good. There's nothing weirder than watching someone else drive your truck. <laughs> it's so strange. I'm not gonna lie, I've been so excited, I actually almost forgot to pay. All right, that is a wrap. These guys have been awesome to work with. Thank you so much, Christian and Johnny, for all your help. It's time to finally start heading home, though, because I, I still just got out of work, so I'm exhausted. So, time to head home. All right, we are home. So it's a little too dark for me to mount them now, so I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. <laughs> I am so excited. These wheels came out so good. And on the tires, the ratio, everything, this looks so good. So let's fast forward to tomorrow and let's get these wheels on. All right, guys, today is the day. I just got back from work. Last night we brought the wheels and tires over after getting mounted. And I've been waiting all day. I'm so excited to finally get these things mounted up and see how they look on the truck. So let's jump right into it. Look at that. <laughs> that is so awesome. I love that color. I think that looks so good on this truck. The tires are so aggressive. This is definitely gonna be sick. Hopefully I don't have to trim too much more. I really shouldn't because this is the same size as the original wheel that I had on here, the, the Falcon Wild Peaks. And if anything, I've heard that BFGs run a little small, so should be a good fit. All right, so enough chit chat. I think it's time we go take this thing for a test drive and see how these tires feel. Just simply driving around too, it definitely feels much better. I'm sure too, having a proper alignment and then having my wheels and tires actually be uh, <laughs> not unevenly worn <laughs> will uh, benefit the riding quality just a little bit. But really, really just feels nice. Starting to get that nice, well put together feeling trying my best to make this truck as you know comfortable as possible and reliable as possible so i can go and take it out on these really far adventures that's really the the main goal of this build to be able to take this truck wherever i want to whenever i want to and not have to worry about anything breaking down all right <laughs> i love it those wheels look so sick the tread is so aggressive i can't wait to really get this thing out on some trails and see how it does these huge lugs should really do a great job off-roading. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I definitely think it helps complete the look of the truck and really gets the vibe that we're going for. These tires and wheels are really giving us that rugged off-road look that we're looking for. It's gonna help us get to where we wanna go, whether we're off-roading, exploring some trails, or looking for our newest campsite. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for the video. Wheels and tires are on one step closer to getting ourselves ready for the Southeast Overland Expo. Really, really pumped on the way this series has been going. Been getting a good amount of support from all you guys and all the communities out there. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's definitely been fun making these videos for you guys. I, <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. I love the way it looks. I got some more plans too to incorporate that gold color just a little bit here and there. It's not gonna be anything tacky or you know ridiculous but you're gonna have to stay tuned if you're gonna wanna see what we got planned for that. So if you like where we're going with this series, definitely consider subscribing. We got a lot more coming up. I actually went and did an entire install video in the middle of this video. So if you noticed what it was, if you noticed something that was different in the last couple of clips, leave a comment down below, let me know what it is. But anyway guys, we're gonna be wrapping it up here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking along throughout the series. Hope you're getting out there and hope to see you in the next one.
New tires smell so good. We should make a candle that's like new tire scent. Is it the same scent as like new car? No, because most of the time with new car, you're smelling like, if it's got leather, you're smelling that and you're smelling like the plastics and whatnot. But, uh, new tires is just completely different. It's much better. <laughs>